Hello and welcome to my channel, where I talk about the latest developments in science and technology. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most ambitious and controversial projects in the field of neurotechnology, Elon Musk's brain chip transplant. Literally. You may have heard of Neuralink, the company co-founded by Musk in 2016, that aims to create a direct link between the human brain and computers. Neuralink claims that its brain implants can help restore vision, mobility, and communication for people with various neurological disorders such as paralysis, blindness, and deafness. But how does it work? And what are the risks and benefits of having a chip in your brain? Well, Neuralink's brain implant is a device that consists of a thin, flexible electrode array that is inserted into the brain through a small hole in the skull. The electrode array, which is about the size of a large coin, can record and stimulate the activity of thousands of neurons in different brain regions. The device is connected to a wireless module that sits behind the ear and communicates with a smartphone app via Bluetooth. The app allows the user to control the device and access various features, such as typing, browsing the web, playing games, or streaming music. Imagine playing GTA 6 using your brain, won't that be great? Neuralink's vision is to enable people to interact with computers and machines using only their thoughts, without the need for keyboards, mice, or voice commands. Look, this could open up new possibilities for enhancing human capabilities, such as learning new skills, accessing information, or expressing creativity. Neuralink also hopes to use its technology to treat various neurological conditions, such as spinal cord injuries, stroke, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and epilepsy. By stimulating specific brain regions, Neuralink could potentially restore lost functions, such as vision, movement, or memory. But before you get too excited, you should know that Neuralink's brain implant is not yet ready for widespread use. The company has only conducted experiments on animals, such as pigs and monkeys, and has not published any peer-reviewed results. Neuralink has also faced several challenges and setbacks, such as safety concerns, ethical issues, and regulatory hurdles. In fact, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, rejected Neuralink's first application for human trials last year, citing potential risks such as infection, bleeding, inflammation, and brain damage. However, Neuralink announced in May 2023 that it had received approval from the FDA to start its first human trial, which will involve patients with quadriplegia due to cervical spinal cord injury or amyotrophic lateral sclerosis ALS. The trial will test the safety and feasibility of Neuralink's brain implant and will measure its ability to help patients control a keyboard or a computer cursor with their minds. Neuralink said that it does not have immediate plans to recruit participants, but that it will provide more information soon. So, what could go wrong with Neuralink's brain implant? Well, there are many possible scenarios, such as The implant could malfunction or break, causing pain, discomfort, or loss of function. The implant could be hacked or manipulated by malicious actors, compromising the user's privacy, security, or autonomy. The implant could interfere with the user's natural brain functions, such as emotions, personality, or identity. The implant could create social and ethical dilemmas, such as inequality, discrimination, or exploitation. However, Neuralink claims that its brain implant is designed to be safe, reliable, and user-friendly. The company claims that The implant is made of biocompatible materials that minimize the risk of infection or rejection. Also that The implant is encrypted and protected by multiple layers of security that prevent unauthorized access or tampering. Even that The implant is customizable and adjustable, allowing the user to choose the level of stimulation and feedback that suits their needs and preferences. The last thing I heard was that the implant is respectful and responsible, ensuring that the user's consent, dignity, and rights are always respected and protected. Know what Neuralink says. Neuralink also says that its brain implant is not intended to replace or surpass the human brain, but rather to complement and augment it. The company says that its goal is to empower people to achieve their full potential and to improve the quality of life for millions of people who suffer from neurological disorders. 
So, what do you think of Neuralink's brain implant? Would you get one if you had the chance? What are the pros and cons of having a chip in your brain? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.